Hello guys. Uh, today we're going to learn how to use, uh, how to create variables with custom size. Up to now, we only use the normal standard C, uh, C or C++ variables like uh, unsigned char, which is 8 bits, or uh, short, which are 16 bits, or int, that in our case, in the Vivaldi KLS, are 32 bits. Today, we are going to learn how to create variables or parameters who have a custom size. For instance, you want to create an unsigned int of 17 bits or something like this. Uh, the, this class will be really fast because uh, the, the topic is quite simple. But, and I'm going to just show in the lab how to create a simple adder or something like that that is going to, to show how to use these features. Okay? I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, guys. So, uh, parameters of variables of custom size. Here in the example, we want to create a 17 bit unsigned integer. Okay? If you are doing C, you must include this header here, this apint.h. Okay? And to create a custom size variables, you create apint in the case of unsigned or apint in the case of assigned integer and the number of bits that you want and for sure the, the, the variable name. Okay? If it is in C, you include apcint.h okay? and it's just a matter to, to put, for instance, uint for an assigned integer followed by the number of bits that you want and the name of the variable. Okay? That's simple. Uh, let's switch to the lab and see how to do this. Okay guys, let's just create the project, okay? a new one, uh, lab3hls for instance. Good. So we choose a top function, let's say a uh, simple alu. Next, next. Here we don't need to change the solution name. Here let's choose Z board again. Let's create, no, no, sorry, not a test bench. A new function, let's add a, create a new file. So let's say core alu.cpp. The first thing that we need to do, to do if we're going to use a, a custom size variables or parameters is to include the, uh, this guy here, the ap int.h, if, in the, if it's the case of C++. Okay, let's create here a comment. Okay, header for custom size variable slash parameters. Let's create a function here, void simple alu. By the way, this was the top function that we created when we started the project. Okay, so uh, input can be ap uint 17 for 17 bits. Let's call this in a. in B. Uh, operation, let's say that is going to be one bit for operation. And let's change a little bit. Let's say that this will return a value also with 17 bits unsigned integer. Let's call this RESP. By the way, programming too long with MATLAB, got confused. So, uh, if op is one, we're going to return in A plus in B. What else? in A minus in B. Okay, let's compile and uh, create this, uh, synthesize this, just to check if it's going to work, if I miss something. So good, it works. Uh, let's see. So we have here in A, 17 bits, okay? In B, 17 bits as well. Operation one, by default, uh, Vivado HLS will use the, the protocol known for this case because they are scalars. So, 
everything's nice so let's create a test bench just to verify the if the the design is doing what it should do so test core dot So cool reference in our core, they match the results. So everything is working as expected. Hope you guys liked it. As I said, this video will be quite simple. The the important point is just this include here that you need to add in order to to say that uh, to Vivado HLS that you're going to use those templates which are used to create custom size variables and parameters. Okay, uh, all the rest it's just simple uh, we have just some trouble here in the test bench we need to, to t make take attention to convert it back to a to a normal c c plus plus variables type uh, well guys before we finish the video let's just have a look on the generated verilog or vhdl code from this uh, from this simple alu core okay uh, so we open the solution okay it's going to be in the folder s y n uh, here simple alu v it's quite simple huh? the return will be this guy here which is basically this assign is a in b plus in a okay and if op is zero is going to be this guy here which is this assign here in a minus in b okay uh, by the way as I mentioned before the code generated on Vivado HLS is kind of not so clear to read for instance the variable names is kind of crypt crypt a little bit like this is kind of strange but it's a clean code and uh, it works so it helps you to save a lot of time to convert C code to accelerators as a IP course in the RFPJ. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, let's finish here.